Whenever I got that check, first thing I thought about was what I want to do for people that, you know, is on dialysis and stuff. I always try to get them a little something, even if it ain't, you know, a lot, just a little gift. And, <laughs> and then I thought about, I haven't done anything for myself in four, five, maybe seven years. Maybe seven years. When I tell you I'm enjoying this, y'all let me have this song for a minute. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> so they don't knock my broadcast off. I had to stop it. But y'all, I have I haven't done anything for myself in seven years. Everything that I've done has either been dedicated to others or just really went on like maintenance somewhere or paying bills. I know paying bills is doing something for me, but I mean like some real, some real lady, lady stuff that I really wanted for my house. So I went to low home Institute, and boy, let me say, I went to the thrift, thrift, thrift store. Y'all know I got kind of thrift from, but I went to the thrift store and I got a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. When I tell y'all, I spent less than a hundred dollars for everything that I got. Whoa, God is good. Whoa, shot. As my daughter said, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I spent less than one hundred dollars for everything that I got. And I mean, let me tell you some of the things I got. I got a whole outfit, y'all, for life. Like it was a brand new skirt. Size 2X, y'all. Thank God I I fit a 2X. It was a size 2X, uh, orange peach colored, like peach colored 
only three freaking dollars. Brand new. Two tops for three dollars. Brand new. And so I was like, well, that's my outfit. And I said, shoot, I might want to get me a pocketbook. A pocketbook, y'all. This gorgeous pocketbook. It's peach colored with gold trim. Gorgeous handbag for like three bucks. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I felt like a million dollars. I felt like I had a million dollars. But I did. I prayed in this thing. So I went down there to the store. I said, Lord, help me manage my money. Help me manage my money. Because I know it ain't much. But I do want some nice stuff. Because I haven't, y'all, really, literally, I had to throw all my stuff away. Like last year, I had to throw away a whole bunch of my stuff. Last year. So these rooms really are empty. They're empty. They don't have any pictures on the wall or anything. My living room has a few pictures on the wall that I recently got from the Dollar Tree. And some paper plates as like a little design plate. Those design paper plates. <laughs> that was on my wall. So, and they're paper plates that you eat out of. But they're so cute though. I tell you, they're so cute, and I got like a little flower up on them, and uh, anyway, anyway, you know, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I was able to get my Coco blind, you know, Coco, Miss Coco, the Coco colored bamboo blind. I was able to get them on sale. Everything I got, it was like, it was just falling in my lap on sale. I got light fixtures. You don't know how sometimes you got... You got the light bulb, but you ain't got no like, like no shade, no no um what you call it? Lamp shade? Is it called lamp shade? Oh god, I can't hurt no lamp. But anyway, you know to cover up the light bulb. Anyway, I was able to buy some of those, replace those in my kitchen, uh, replace the blinds in my living room and my kitchen, and uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah. I got flowers for me and the granddaughters to plant. We're gonna plant those probably tomorrow. Hopefully, if it don't rain, we're gonna try to plant, plant those in this bird bath that I have out here. I know the birds need water, but you know, it'd be a lot further out here. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna, um, I got those flowers. I got some indoor flowers. I got some shoes. Go with the outfit. Now I did go to the show and get the shoes, and they were on sale too. Just so happy, what I needed was on sale. You know, I'm not. I'm just a simple person. I'm telling y'all, I I do the simple life, and God makes everything I have look good on me. So, you know, I don't complain. I don't complain. I take what is is, you know, I take what I can get. You know, not like that. I mean, you know, you know how it is. You know what God has lined up for you. It's going to be right there for you in your path. And so that's what happened to me. Everything I needed was in my path. And I enjoyed myself so much today. God, y'all, I could just talk about it all day long. I, I really enjoyed myself today. And right now, y'all, though, I'm cooking late. I'm cooking late. I'm cooking for my granddaughters really late because I just really got up. You know, I had to, like, rest a little bit because I walked. When I tell you, it felt good being out that freaking house, walking in those big old stores, like those home improvement stores. And uh, I went to Roses. I went to Shoe Show. I went to um, KFC. You know I'm not going without KFC. I went to KFC. I mean, just walking, and I just took my time walking around in the stores, and I was running into people I didn't even know. <laughs> running into people I didn't even know, and we just talked like we've been knowing each other for years, you know? And, and it, that felt good. That felt really good to me. Because I hadn't been out around in society in five months like that. I've probably been out the house probably five times in five months. So, of course, I'm going to run wild. But I'm going to run wild now that I'm healed. I couldn't wait to get out of this house. I mean, I still got a good ways to go, but it's not a rope way. So I'm thankful. The hole is closed in my stomach, so I'm able to get up and go like I want to. I'm able to sweep and clean up, do my own cleaning. My granddaughters was helping me clean. You 
know, um, back when it first started and, you know, up until recently. So now I'm able to get up and do everything for myself. And it's just such a fresh, it's like a spiritual awakening. It's such a fresh blessing to be able to get up and do the things yourself. You know, it was sometimes when I couldn't even put the my um own dressing on and my little granddaughter's four and five years old would come and put the dressing on. So it feels good to be able to get up and, and do these things yourself. I really enjoy it. But I am cooking, like I said. Y'all go, y'all gonna have to roll with me, okay? Y'all, y'all roll with me, cause we're gonna roll right on in here in the kitchen. Cause I am cooking freaking fried chicken and potato salad. Yes, I am. And y'all, the word freaking is not a cuss word for those of you who think it is. I just always have said it. But I am seasoning my flour for this fried chicken. Y'all, I'm ready to do this. My eggs and my taters are boiling. grandma actually needs its own I think it actually needs its own um, Facebook fan page so that I can show y'all the stuff that we actually do cause we actually we be on it my kids like Laurie season and salt but to be honest I could care less about season and salt or any kind of salt but because I am cooking for them I'm using salt, and like I said, to get that fried chicken, that little, little extra flavor, that extra little good flavor, I'm using ground red pepper. And here, I've got mix, 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 oh God, I'm about to sneeze. Y'all know, I'm old school, we get an um, old grocery bag, take that mug out, just clean and <coughs> bless me. <laughs> oh